All right, so welcome back, everybody. Uh, I got a 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee here that had some noise in the front end. I uh, found all the lower ball joints are worn out and the control arm bushings. So I'm going to walk you through how to change the lower ball joint on an 07 Greek Jeep Grand Cherokee. So first thing, first things first, you got to take the caliper off itself. So there's a bolt here and a bolt here. In my case, they're 15 millimeter. So you unscrew these, set them to the side, take the caliper off, set it so there's no pressure on the flex line, like that. And then for the caliper bracket, there are two bolts, one is right here, one's right here, one's right here. You can take those off. Set it aside. Now the rotor should pop off. Sometimes there's a little O-ring in here. Kind of keeps the rotor in place. Once you add out, the rotor comes off. Set that aside. Now you've got the wheel bearing. You got to take the axle nut off. Like that. And the axle should slide freely in the hub. And then you got to separate both ball joints. So, the upper up there. So was a 19 mil. The lower, which is here, which was a 21 mil. And then you also have to take the tie rod off, which is right here. So I already loosened them. Uh, normally you just back the nut off. A good impact gun will, will ratchet it right off. Sometimes they pop out. But you take the nut off, hit here on the knuckle with a hammer. You don't have to hit it super hard, but what that does is temporarily distort the hole and then it'll pop out. And shove the nut back on there. And then for the top ball joint, it was a 19 millimeter. So you undo the, the nut to the bottom. And then I like to take a hammer right here and just give it a couple snaps. And the same deal, it just distorts the hole temporarily and then it pops out but then the nut keeps it from coming all the way out. Now you have the speed sensor over here. You don't want to wreck the wire for it, so you just undo all the clips. And then for these, this little red thing here is normally down here, so you pop it up with a screwdriver, and then the tab at the back here, you push in and then pull. And then it'll come apart. And then you can get your speed sensor out of the way so you don't wreck it. And then lower ball joint, same deal, take the nut down and then smack it on the back or the face with a hammer and that'll destroy the hole and it'll drop down. And then getting it out, I'm going to grab it here and pull down, take the nut off, put it aside, pop it out, get our tie rod off already, bottom nut. Pick up on the knuckle, take it on, and then the whole thing will just come out and slide out of the wheel bearing. So I got a ball joint tool set up. So what you want is this cup here to be a little bit bigger than the ball joint itself so it can ride up on the control arm. And then this center core screw just pushes it down through. Put some pressure on it and then crack. then hit the top of the press. So up here, for the hammer. And that will send a shock down it. And hopefully get it to start to go. All right, 
Anyway, so once it cracked loose, um, I had to reposition the puller because it was starting to hit the edge of the control arm. So now that it actually cracked loose, you just do it with a normal ratchet and it'll pop right out. Right like that. So now we just put everything back together in the opposite way we took it apart. Same thing once you get it loaded up with a clamp, put it in. Give it a tap. And if there's any space, it'll just shock it in there. Now these ball joints have a clip that goes in the top of them. It's not quite a snap ring because the control arm would be right here, and the groove in the top of the ball joint is not large enough. So it just has like a C-clip that goes in this groove. Push it in. Give it a little tap. And there we go. is torqued at 70 foot-pounds on this vehicle. The grease fitting is in. The upper ball joint is also torqued at 70 foot-pounds. Tie rod end is 70 foot-pounds. Wheel bearing spindle nut is 100 foot-pounds. So all that's torqued up. This is ready to put the wheel on. I've already done the other side and got the wheel on it. 